custom built specifically for Sean by our team over a period of 16 months. Today you are witnessing the very first public performance that Sean is doing in the 2012 air show season. This aircraft weighs in at barely 1,200 pounds and it is powered by 400 horsepower, making it without question the most high performance aerobatic biplane in the world today. Now performing the descending inverted flat turn, John will now tumble his way back down to air show left. Sean is going to now demonstrate the torque roll. A maneuver first used in 1972 by Mr. Charlie Hillard to win for the United States the World Aerobatic Championship Trophy. Now 1,800 feet above the ground, Sean will shift into reverse and begin flying this aircraft tail first. Negative air speeds in excess of 90 miles an hour. Looks through his critical altitude, the throttle comes back. The nose falls down the smoke is back on. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the Sean D. Tucker Torque Roll. <laughs> Pulling his way over the top, bringing that nose back down through the horizon, Sean is going to convert altitude back into airspeed. Now, for those of you that are up near the fence, if you look closely, you will notice that there are three sets of poles out there. Suspended between each set of poles is a ribbon. Those ribbons are 20 feet above the ground, and they are spaced only 700 feet apart. What Sean is going to do in a few short moments is come down and attempt to slice all three of those ribbons in one single in three separate flight attitudes. Skyward now, watch as Sean pushes and rolls over the top and sets up to show for you the world's smallest inside loop. We call this the alley-oop. that the show line is obstruction free and Sean is now ready to attempt to slice all three of those ribbons. What he's going to do is make the turnaround maneuver at the far left end of the aerobatic box. He is going to dive this aircraft down right now to approximately 215 miles an hour, 18 feet above the runway. Stopping now, he is going to roll it into right knife edge flight through ribbon number one. Now to left knife edge flight through number two. And then shred that third and final ribbon. A maneuver performed by no one else in the world today. That is Sean D. Tucker's triple ribbon cut. Only Oracle offers hardware and software engineered to work together. Complete and integrated systems from Oracle simplify enterprise IT while delivering extreme Oracle hardware and software engineers to work together. Watch now for Sean to climb skyward. It starts inverted, it ends inverted with a tumble in the middle. That is called the Tucker Upper. to show center. Watch for the nose to pitch up. Pulling in three-quarter outside. Snap rolls put Sean into climbing knife edge flight, which we call the slider. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in the turnaround, we're going to take a moment and try to reach Sean live in the cockpit as he makes his low-altitude, low-speed photo pass. Sean D., are you with us?
ladies and gentlemen, what do you think so far of Shondi Tucker and the one-of-a-kind Oracle Challenger 3? Well, right now, as Sean eases that throttle forward, he is going to roll his way around and set up back at Air Show Center for the final maneuver of this afternoon's performance. This is called the Harrier Pass named in honor of the awesome power and capabilities demonstrated by the United States Marine Corps AV-8B Harrier. What Sean is gonna now do is approach from the left and then while using only 70% of his available horsepower, he is gonna stand his aircraft on its tail your hands together one final time for Sean D. Tucker and the one-of-a-kind Oracle Challenger 3. Sean is the former winner of the United States National Advance Aerobatic Championship Trophy. In addition, Sean is the first performer to ever win both the Bill Barber Award for Air Show Showmanship and the Art Show Memorial Showmanship Award in the same year. In 2005, Sean was honored by the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum as being one of the 25 living legends in aviation. And in 2008, Sean received his highest honor, and that was membership in the National Aviation Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Norris. Thanks so much for coming out to see us this afternoon. Again, this is our very first performance of the 2012 air show season. We will be flying almost every weekend between now and the beginning of November. We will travel all over North America, flying in front of more than 8 million air show fans. And these airplanes will travel more than 25,000 miles. We'd like to invite you to look us up online at teamoracle.com and also please pay a visit to Sean's Facebook fan page. Just keep in mind, he spells the first name S-E-A-N. That is Sean D. Tucker. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much. We look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you, Brian, and thank you to everybody at Team Oracle. Fantastic job, one of the most impressive aerobatic demonstrations I've ever seen. And a one-of-a-kind Oracle Challenger 3. <laughs> Thanks again, Brian. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. It's very impressive.